live in a country where forests abound. And I think uh, just understanding what we have in our backyards and, and sort of responsibly, um, is responsibly dealing with the natural resources that are around us is, is really important. Uh, in terms of perspective, one of the reasons why I went to the program is that it was conservation oriented and my ethic in ecology and arboriculture had always been conservation and so having that angle of it rather than classical management of single trees or classical forestry silvicultural approaches, this was a different type of approach to, to the whole question of, of forestry or urban forestry and it was from a conservative perspective. In, in that way it, it definitely was helpful to build professional skills and just learning approaches that, that brought that perspective to the, to, the, to the urban forest. I decided to study forestry because when you study forestry you're studying ecology and biology and all those other things wrapped into one um, package and what I like about forestry is that it's it takes in the complete picture. You know, what I'm studying is something that involves um, urban environments, it involves a lot of ecology and evolution, and so you could study it as part of evolutionary biology, but because I studied under forestry, I had some brilliant insights from other people on my committee, from other professors, that I wouldn't have gotten if I was just strictly looking at it from an evolutionary standpoint. Basically, people talk about sustainable forestry, and that's what in Canada, this faculty, that's what we're all about. And when I say sustainable forestry, people usually talk about the stool with the three legs of sustainability, and those three legs have to be each given uh, you know, equal weight. And the three legs that people usually talk about are ecology, economy, and cultural values for society. And that all sounds very well and good. It's certainly a balance, but it's almost as though each of those legs has a little saw, and it's madly trying to saw off the other one, right? So, to some extent, it looks, instead of as a balance, it looks kind of like a battle, <laughs> right? So, it is um, a challenge to make sure that each of those legs gets equal weight. Forestry branches out into other aspects as well, which is good because you it brings a lot of diversity to your, um, your discussions in class and as you're learning. Forestry develops with an economic focus, kind of went from an unlimited resource sense to something that we realized you had to manage sustainably. The value of forests is a thousand times more. All the wild spaces, the empty spaces that we have in Canada, that basically qualifies as forestry. And because we have such amazing natural resources, we have to be able to manage them properly, especially with climate change and you know alternative forms of energy and, and stuff like that. It's, I would say crucially important that we continue to focus on preserving and keeping the natural world that we have as healthy as possible. And I think that's what forestry is about. I think it's really interesting to see now that it's so multifaceted and welcoming. I think forestry is important, especially in Canada, because it, it just houses so much of our culture so much of our country's biodiversity, our traditions. Well, forestry um, has to be looked at from a global perspective. Again, the environment is not just a stream beside your house or your immediate surroundings. So it, it has to be looked at something, that it, an entity that is, is a global issue that people need to explore. Interdisciplinary. Interdisciplinary. Interdisciplinary is very interdisciplinary. It encompasses everything that's going on in the city, in the urban environment, and the forest around it, and makes that one big unit. You are able to kind of mold yourself into what you want to be. If you do want to be a forester, you can do that. If you want to be more a conservationist, it's very easy to sort of mold yourself into that. If you want to be a fire specialist, you kind of get that background to go forward. So interdisciplinary really needs keeping the options open and I like that. When I came into the forestry faculty, it was like, whoa, there's a huge world opened up <laughs> of possibilities. You're always being challenged with new ways of thinking, new things to think about. You can have all sorts of students that thrive. There's not any given one set of skills that makes a successful student in forestry and that's one of the appeals as well. 
to say what makes a good forestry student is so much. <laughs> I, I think I gained both practical and research experience, and I think that I learned um, a much wider variety, like a larger scope of material than I ever expected to. I was sort of really focused on areas that interested me when I went into the program, and I came out uh, having learned a huge amount more.